everyone and welcome to the first video. In this video, I'm going to get you set up with Flexbox. I want to make sure that you're comfortable with the markup that we're being, going to be using, as well as comfortable with the two fundamental concepts of Flex Container and Flex Item. So uh, what do we got here? We've got a div with a class of container. Inside of that, I have a whole bunch of boxes. So this is going to be our flex container, and each of these are going to be our flex items. Um, now, these don't have to be divs. They could be really anything you want, uh, images, sections, paragraph tags, whatever you really want. But uh, for the case of simplicity here, I've just done plain old divs. Um, I've given them classes just so I can style them, but again, that's not totally necessary. Uh, in the CSS here, I've just got some normalized, got my border box, again, not necessary for Flexbox. Um, this right here just gives it some basic styling as well as some colors for the background there. So if I give that uh, refresh here, this is what we've got. We just got div all the way across. Each one is sort of stacked on top of each other. Now we can on line 31 here, we're going to go ahead and start writing our flex box. And the way that we do that is uh, we define the container as display flex. Now that's really important because you might be coming to this thinking like, okay, we have display block, inline, inline block, and none, and a couple of other kind of edge case ones. And this is a totally new way to think about laying out your website. So if you're really coming at this from the perspective of something like I'm bringing my floats here, I'm bringing my widths, and I'm bringing my percentage, we sort of have to put that aside um, and, and kind of take this in as something that's new to us. So if I set that to be display flex and give us a refresh, watch what happens. Okay, so what happened there is my container here, uh, let me put a border on it, 10px solid goldenrod, give it a save. You see that the flex container, it goes all the way across the entire page, um, and that's similar to block level elements. However, we also have one called inline flex, and inline flex is just like an inline element, like a span or something. It'll really just kind of wrap around the content and only take the about the width that it needs. So I'm going to bring that back to flex and refresh. Uh, so our flex container goes all the way across. And by defining this container as display flex, what happens is uh, automatically these divs right here are, have become flex items. So the kind of relationship between the immediate children of the flex container makes these divs flex items. We don't have to do anything special. We don't have to say display flex item on them. They are just automatically turned into flex items. Uh, one last thing I want to kind of get you set up on. In the next video, we're going to be talking about accesses and flex direction. Um, and when I first learned it, it was it tripped me up a little bit because uh, when we searched it, flip the direction, things started stretching around for me. So uh, what I want to do is that when you're working with Flexbox, it's handy to have uh, a box that at least has some sort of height on it just so we can visualize what's going on. Um, in your real world websites, the height would come from the actual content that takes up your elements. Um, but I want to go ahead and just say height 100 VH. Now, if you're not familiar with VH, that stands for viewport height. Um, and what that will do is it will just make the container stretch the entire height. It's kind of like height 100%. Um, it's just a new way to say it. That really has nothing to do with Flexbox, but um, it's just a nice way for us to get a 100% height on our div here. And then when we resize vertically, we don't really have to worry about any 100% height hacks. So that's just getting set up. Uh, one quick review, we've got our flex container as well as our flex items. In the next one, we're going to be taking a look at uh, sort of a fundamental idea of accesses and flex direction.